Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to carry out calculations based on step-up and step-down transformers. You should then be able to describe how transformers are used in power transmission. And this is for triple physics higher tier students only. In the last video, we saw that step-up transformers increase the potential difference of an electricity supply, whereas step-down transformers decrease the potential difference. Now, if we know the potential difference in the primary coil and the number of turns in the primary and secondary coils, then we can calculate the potential difference in the secondary coil. To do that, we use this equation. The potential difference in the primary coil divided by the potential difference in the secondary coil equals the number of turns in the primary coil divided by the number of turns in the secondary coil. And you are given this equation in the exam, so you don't need to learn it. Here's a typical question. A transformer has 200 turns in the primary coil and 50 turns in the secondary coil. A potential difference of 48 volts is induced in the secondary coil. Calculate the potential difference in the primary coil. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, we need to rearrange the equation to find the potential difference in the primary coil. And I'm showing you the rearranged equation here. Putting in the numbers gives a value of 192 volts. We can see that this is a step-down transformer as 192 volts has been stepped down to 48 volts. Here's another question for you. A transformer has 100 turns in the secondary coil. It steps up a potential difference from 50 volts to 250 volts. Calculate the number of turns in the primary coil. So again, pause the video and try this yourself. OK, we can rearrange the equation for the number of turns in the primary coil like this. Putting in the numbers gives us a value of 20 turns for the primary coil. Now, one very important idea about transformers is that power must be conserved. In other words, the power of the primary coil equals the power of the secondary coil. We calculate power by multiplying the potential difference by the current. So the potential difference in the primary coil multiplied by the current in the primary coil equals the potential difference of the secondary coil multiplied by the current in the secondary coil and you're given this equation in the exam. Now this only applies if the transformer is 100% efficient. In other words, if there's no energy wasted. In practice, that won't be the case, but for calculations, we can assume that it is. Here's a question for you. A transformer has a potential difference of 200 volts and a current of 0.1 amperes in the secondary coil. The potential difference in the primary coil is 50 volts. Calculate the current in the primary coil. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, we need to rearrange the equation to calculate the current in the primary coil. And I'm showing you the rearranged equation here. Putting the numbers into the equation gives us a current in the primary coil of 0.4 amperes. We're going to finish now by looking at how transformers are used in power transmission. I'm showing you here a simplified diagram of the national grid. And we looked at the national grid in the topic on electricity. Electrical power is transmitted from power stations to homes through high voltage cables. As we saw before, the power equals the current multiplied by the potential difference. So if we want to transmit a large amount of power, we can either use a large current or a large voltage. Now there is a problem here. Power is wasted in the transmission cables as heat. And the amount of power wasted as heat depends on the square of the current. If we used a large current in the transmission cables, then a huge amount of power would be wasted as heat. So instead of using a large current, we use a large potential difference. The electricity from the power station has first passed through a step-up transformer. This steps up the potential difference to around 400,000 volts. The electrical power is then transmitted down high voltage cables. It's then passed through step-down transformers. The step-down transformers reduce the potential difference. For example, the potential difference of the main supply in UK homes is around 230 volts. So as you can see, by using transformers, we massively reduce power wastage in the national grid. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on transformers in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.